The square relay race is a highly practical way of running a relay race that involves a lot of players in a small amount of space and at times offering a little bit of traffic, making it a bit more game-like in the way players have to maneuver around. Have players line up in equal numbers two meters back from the crease and shooter positions on both sides of the floor, ideally marked out by pylons, forming a large square in the offensive zone. Variation number one is the cradling race. On the coach's whistle, have players run slash cradle around the outside of the square, returning back to their original line and handing the ball off to the next player. If any player leaves early, coaches can force them to stop for the amount of time that they gained in their head start. Continue the race until every player has gone. If any player drops the ball during the relay, they must go and retrieve it and finish the requirements of the race before returning to line. The first team with everyone sitting down wins the race. If any line has uneven numbers, the line or lines with less players will have to have somebody go twice in order to make things even. Mix between a clockwise or counterclockwise direction each time through the drill. Variation 2 is the loose ball variation, which is the same as the previous variation except the first player in line must place the ball 2 or 3 meters ahead of them and scoop the loose ball to start the race. They must then run around the square, rolling the ball to the next player in line once they get around the last, aka third corner of the square. Variation number three is the passing variation, which again is the same as the previous variations, except instead of a loose ball, the ball carrier passes to the next player in line, who catches the ball normally, which is variation 3A, or who is facing away and catches the ball across their body and over their shoulder, which is variation number 3B. If the ball is dropped, the player who missed it must run and pick it up, making sure they still run all the way around the square before getting back into line. Lastly, variation number four is the continuous variation, not shown in this video, which is the same as all of the previous variations, except all lines are wearing separate colored pennies, aka teams, and the race ends when one color catches the color that started two positions in front of them, without getting lapped. This drill variation has a high cardio effect. Losing teams can be made to do push-ups, planks, squats, etc.